Hello, welcome to the Cloudwix YouTube channel. My name is Manoj and today we will discuss how to import PST file into Office 365 mailbox. So, in this video we will use network upload method to import PST file in Office 365 mailbox. Open office.com in any internet browser and click on the sign in button. Now enter your office 365 email id and click next. In this screen enter your password and click on the sign in button. Now you can see your microsoft 365 page. Click on the admin in the left sidebar to open the admin center. First you need to assign the permission for importing the pst file. For this Click on the exchange option to enter into the exchange admin center. After entering into the exchange admin center, click on the roles, then admin roles. Now you can see the admin roles on your screen. Scroll down and click on the organization management to assign the import role. A screen will open in the right side showing organization management settings. Click on the permissions tab. Now you can see all the permissions here. Scroll down and click on the mailbox import export and click save to assign the import export permission. Now you must assign the user for the import export permission. For that click on the assign tab and then click on the add button to add the user. I have already assigned the user for the import export permission. After completing these steps, you need to go back to the Microsoft 365 admin center. Click on the Microsoft 365 admin center in the left sidebar as shown on the screen. After entering into the Microsoft 365 admin center, click on the show all, scroll down, then click on the compliance tab. Microsoft Purview window will open. Now click on the data lifecycle management and select Microsoft 365 from the drop down options. In the data lifecycle management window, click on the import tab. To add the import job, click on the new import job. Now you will need to provide the name for the import job and then click next. In the select import job type. You need to select upload your data option and then click next because we are using network upload method to import the PST file. In the import data window, click on the show network upload SAS URL. Now click on copy to clipboard to copy the SAS URL as we need this URL to upload our PST file. Now open the notepad to paste the SS URL in the notepad file. Minimize the notepad and open the import job tab and click on the download as your rejected copy file. A new tab will open showing all the version of the Azure rejected copy file. Download the suitable one for your operating system. Now extract the downloading file using any extractor. Open the extracted file, copy the path of the file as shown on the screen and paste it into the notepad. In the third line of the notepad, you can see the command that we need to execute to upload our PST file. Now search for the command prompt in the start menu and open the command prompt. Copy the Azure Azure copy file path from the notepad and paste in the command prompt and press enter. Now you will need the source location of the PST file. Right click on your PST file then click on the properties option and copy the location of the PST file and paste in the notepad. Now in the main command replace the source file of the PST text with your PST file location as shown on the screen. And replace the SAS URL text with your SAS URL that we have copied earlier. If you want to upload multiple PST files, you need to provide the folder path only and it will upload all the PST files in it. 
but if you have PST files in the subfolder under that folder, then you need to type recursive in the end of the command and it will upload all the PST files that are in subfolder also. Now copy the complete command and paste in the command prompt and press enter to upload the PST file. It will start uploading the PST file and will take some time depending on the PST file size and you can see the progress on the screen. Once completed, it will show the detailed status of the upload. Now open the import window, click on I have done uploading my files and I have access to the mapping file and click next to proceed further. Now in the next step, you will need a mapping file. Download the sample mapping file as shown on the screen. I will share the link for downloading the sample mapping file in the description. Now open the sample mapping file and edit it to enter your details. The workload column will remain the same as it is the exchange mailbox. In the file path column, you do not need to type anything because we have already provided the file path while uploading the file. Therefore, leave it blank. In the name column, type the name of the PST file that you have uploaded. In the mailbox column, type the user mailbox ID in which you want to import the PST file. In the is archive column, Type true if you want to import PST file in the archive mailbox or if you want to import PST file in the primary mailbox then type false. In the target root folder column, you need to provide the folder name in which you want to import PST file or if you leave it blank it will import the PST file in the imported folder in the root of the mailbox. If you want to import multiple PST files, then you can enter the details in the next row. Now save the changes made in the mapping file. Now open import tab and select your mapping file and click on validate button to validate the file. Once validated, click on the next button to move further. Now review your details in the review window and click submit. Now you will see a window upload to the cloud succeeded. Click on the done button. A import job has been created and you can see the progress in the progress tab. Wait for some time and click on the refresh button. Now you can see the status as import completed in progress tab. Now click on the file and then click import to office 365. Now it will ask you if you want to filter any data. If you want to filter the data, then click yes I want to filter it before importing. Otherwise click on no I want to import everything and click next. Now it will show the data size, verify it and click on the submit button. Now click on the refresh button and it will show the status as import in progress and you can see the progress in the progress tab. Wait for some time and click on the refresh button to check the progress. This process will take time depending on the data size. Once completed, it will show the status as completed. You will also receive the email on the completion of the import process. As you can see the imported folder is created in the mailbox. PST file has been successfully imported in the Office 365 mailbox. Thanks for watching the complete video. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Also follow us on other social media platform. Social media links are in the description.